Okay, y'all, we're going to get a twin flame reading here. Again, it just screwed up. I did a good-ass reading on the twin flame, and we were at the end. It's saying that a Scorpio is someone's spiritual partner. I'm sorry. Okay, again, what I was stating, guys. Okay. I understand that everyone have their issues that they're trying to work through. And it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. Can't no one tell you how to feel about how you feel about how you have been done by a parent or by anyone. Can't anyone tell you how to feel and I understand that. But what I'm saying is you don't have to use your energy to just daily just um, down talk whomever have hurt us. You know, I talk about it sometimes. I talk about how, you know, people just took my items, took my testimony, took my things. Or whatever and it's my story and you know they talking about victim no never never that people just mad because they don't have a legitimate story and it wasn't bad as yours they're they're wondering how is she still even kicking kicking it properly why you know how is she still saying how is she still do it, maintain it with all of that that then happened. And it makes them angry, mad, and jealous because they know that you're strong. You're a strong individual. So, you know, when people are haters, there are haters of all kinds or whatever. And, you know, what I'm stating, I get that our parents have, you know, I'm in the boat with you guys, have did some things that we can't seem to, you know, get get past some people are like that or whatever some people are or whatever um and they don't forgive they haven't forgiven their parents so they'll go in on their parents or whatever and they'll hate you and they hate themselves they really hate themselves. They're up here talking a good game, but it's all an illusion. Everyone needs healing. Everyone. And it's people that are on different levels in this journey. So, you know, I've been doing the work for years, even before I got here. I've been crying in my sleep. Wouldn't tell anybody even about my story. So, nevertheless... Am I crying wolf or trying to know? Never try to make anyone feel sorry for me. Because it's it's some other people that have endured a lot of hard, harsh things as well. Karmic people are just mad because they really don't. They're fakers. They don't have no legitimate story. So... They get mad. They're really attention seekers and they do it for the outer surface. But those are the people that compete with people, lie, steal, and cheat. And they could have it all already. But they are just liars and master manipulators. Just because you have money don't make you be a great person. And people look at them people like they're someone that they're not. They really be bad people. Praying, they're praying your downfall. They want to be your clone. Virgo. Pisces. Keep up with how much money you're spending. He sleep with men and women for money. His sister is secretly jealous of you. And someone needs to 
attention to the, the dark night of the soul. Okay. A Virgo and a Pisces could be involved here. And they may, it may be them that need attention to go through the dark night of the soul. They're praying your downfall. And it's burdened they ass down too. To even try to keep up. Passionately burden them. Because you know why God and spirit is not going to allow it. To continue to happen. For them to pray on you. And pray on you. And do you ugly. And send you ugly energy. And all of that. And not pay the consequences. It is. Whatever it is, it is burdening them to try to keep up with your work or something. Things you know, who you are, what you're speaking, who you stand for. They're just jealous. They're mad because they don't have a story to even be a victim. But by the looks of it, they're trying to victimize you. That's why they come and search for you and uh, have people to do fake profiles to to hunt you down and watch you and all of that. They're trying to victimize you or whatever. Like I say, I get it that we're all going through some harsh stuff to do with how our parents and foster parents and um, the streets have done us and people in the streets and all of that, you know. But at some point or whatever, you just got to be like, I surrender it all. I don't want to, you know, feel that bad for, you know, what this person did to me. I'm going to move on because that's when they get their payback, when you move on. When people wrong you, if you move on away from it and don't have no ill intents or wishes towards them or try to use your energy to project anything back, it comes back on them quicker when you walk away and release it and heal. That's all I'm saying. You're not doing yourself any of good to hold on to what you feel that they did to you that hurt you so bad. You got to forgive them for you. You got to release it for you. It's a Virgo wanted a home life. A Virgo, whatever they're doing that's trying to keep up with you. This person could be trying to one-up you. This person could want you to stay down, not have any money, like not have nice things and all of that. This is a person that is in, uh, got a ten of cups with the Virgo. Uh, they want to wish fulfillment in their home life, new beginnings and all of that. But they're dealing with a passionate night. Of cups that's acting as though they are offering them love, but they're flighty and they come in to just for sex or something. This could have been a person that this person wanted a home life with. A Virgo wanted a home life with you. These people were praying your downfall. This Virgo or whoever it is could be friends with this divine masculine sister. This person is a flight knight that is not a king. And a Virgo wanted a home life and a wish fulfillment with them. Or could be in a home life with this person. Or this person could want to start all over with them because they just don't want them to be with you. And them trying to keep up with you and be your clone and copy you. And so forth, it is burning them down to the, the the life of them. And they're still participating up in this. I don't see how. Or someone could be in a home life, a lustful home life, or whatever, with a Virgo or something of that nature, and think that they're doing something or whatever to get at you or whatever. This Pisces. Someone wants you left out in the cold. You are speaking your truth because they know that people look at you as the world. Someone wants you left out in the cold or this Virgo wanted you left. This water sign and this Virgo left you out in the cold. You sit on the throne. You spoke your 
your truth or whatever and stood up high and chest out and head up and told these people what it was and all of that. Now people are seeing you as the world. Yes, single, loving yourself, minding your own business, attending to your affairs, manifesting money all around you, all in front of you and all of that. And um, being out in nature. So someone that's a king spoke up for you and told someone like, man, why did you do that? Why did you leave that person out and down and out or whatever? This person came in and stood up for you because they knew that you had kids or something of this nature and that this person had did you wrong. And now, and this person spoke up for you and took up for you. And this person sit on the throne. They speak the truth or whatever. A tower came in. It could have been a cancer who did this that was in the king of swords energy. So a king of swords and a queen of swords is out here. Someone is sleeping with men and women or whatever for money. Who is this? Who is sleeping with men? Someone that is feeling soggy right now. I know that. That's a four of cups that missed the opportunity with you. And they do it for the money. They missed this opportunity thinking they were going to get money elsewhere. That they were going to get a wish fulfillment elsewhere. Whoever this person is that missed this opportunity with you, his sister is secretly jealous of you. And she caused this person to backstab you. Put 10 swords right to your back. All of these people, what I'm getting, need to go through the dark night of the soul and heal. Yep. These people could be seen in a great beam of light like they're stars. Or something, but all of them need to go through the dark night of the soul to heal their shadow sides. Because this is causing them to do effery. I don't know who did what, but you're going to have a victory out of it. I don't know who did what. Someone needs to heal and go through the dark night of the soul. Someone is healing and going through the dark night of the soul. But someone's sister is secretly jealous of you and... They were the ones who caused this person to backstab you. Someone wants to communicate with you in regarding to money. So you should be getting communication from someone like via email, in your messenger box, up under your videos. If you have uh, YouTube, on Facebook, in your DM, something of that nature. Who is this want to communicate in regarding to money? Who is this want to communicate in regarding to money? I get it, you know, like I'm saying, I get people being angry and mad and feeling like they can't forgive their parents and things like that. Like, me and my mom come from a generation of that. And, you know, if your biological rape you or whatever, and then people go try to make mockery out of it, and it's not even funny, like, they're sick. This could be a cancer or some type of water sign that is trying to communicate with you. The tower is going to come because you're the high priestess. If people have been effing you over in regard to money and backstabbing you, you're going to have the victory in the end to do with all of this. All, all of this. Who wants to communicate about this money? Who wants to communicate? Or this could be you telling people off because you healed and you're seeing everything out in the open now. You could be telling them about your money and um, these people backstabbing you. Whoever was done wrong in this manner is going to have a victory. Kid you not. It's a bunch of hating ass people out here. I'm telling you. 
Five of Swords. You're going to beat their asses down again. You got a sword standing up like, I'm ready. Like, don't come for me. Don't say nothing because I haven't did anything to you, horse. Or whatever. Like, I'm trying to move on with my life. Let me move on or whatever. Don't come trying to fight me because of your insecurities and your wrongdoing and your master manipulation and your deceit, deceptive ways that you want me to work real hard and you gain pinnacles. Oh, get out my face. Oh, Lord, this keep coming up. Somebody wants you to get busy. And they want to work you like a Hebrew slave. Lord, have mercy. And God says, not so, not my child. You go work and come bring me my money. God is telling all of them. And give her hers as well. Everything that you done took. Mm -hmm. That's what. They better know it. They better know it. God, done, God not playing with them. Okay, guys, let's get a few more and let's call it a night. Let's call it a night because we don't want a night. Okay, what else is going on in this connection? Queen of Swords. This could be about a queen of swords and a queen of pentacles is what I have got. Someone is lying about cheating. Who's lying about cheating? It could be stop prostituting your followers. Someone is lying about cheating that could be an air sign and they're prostituting their followers. And they could be snooping up on other people's items, stealing and cheating and, and prostituting their followers. Trying to pretend like it's their content, it's their words, it's their items and they're lying and prostituting their followers. Whoever it is wants to have sex for one night. A queen of wands crowned this queen. Someone said to crown a fire sign. I'm going to have to come back with this reading. I'll be right back. 